Hi, I'm Lauren Rooney, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite things to bring to a party or a barbecue. I even recently made one for a bridal shower. It's a fruit salad. Simple and easy, but my fruit salads are just a little bit different because I make one of those cool fruit baskets out of melon when I make my fruit salad. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today using this honeydew. Okay, first things first you want to do is pick a nice honeydew. Obviously, you want it to be ripe. Um, when you get it home, you're going to decide which side looks prettier because you're going to use the, the top strip of it right here. Take a wet paper towel and just, you know, wipe it off. Make sure there's no extra dirt or anything on there. And then, I've already started this one a little bit, but you're going to flip it over to the side that you don't want to be on top, and you're just going to slice, just like I did right there, just a really thin slice of that. You see there's a little nub there, so I chose the flatter one to be on top. So, you can get rid of that. Alrighty. The next thing you're going to do is use a very little knife. I've got a couple sizes here. I like to use a little knife, sort of like a paring knife for this. And you're simply going to make zigzags in the, the melon on either side. So I've already started it right here, if you can see. You're basically going to take a strip that you want to be the top of the basket, and you're going to start on one of the sides. It's usually about an inch or so from that top part there. Okay, and just like I have, you just take your knife, carefully of course, and you start to make zigzags, little V's. Now, it takes a little bit of creativity. It's fine if you cut into this part, because this is the part that's going to come off. But you kind of have to have a bit of a steady hand and look back every now and then so you can make sure that you're doing like a circle. Now, if you don't feel like you're artistic enough to do it on your own, you can always use a magic marker and just make a nice circle in there too and just follow your line. That would be fine. In my case, I've been doing it a while, so I try to just, you know, wing it out. So you're going to basically go all the way around the melon. Now, this part is the basket part, the bottom. So you want to make sure that you leave some space here so that there's enough room in the melon for your fruit when you cut it all up. And then, of course, when we get inside of there, we'll take our melon baller and we will use our honeydew as part of our fruit salad. Now, typically, when I make this for a barbecue um, or a party where there's a lot of people, I actually make the basket out of the watermelon. I just wanted to show the honeydew because I feel like it's the easiest. So I'm basically going straight across the bottom here. And again, it's just zigzags. You almost want to take, when you're making a new V, you want to go kind of to the top of that one. But remember, you're making a circle, so make sure that they follow consecutively. Now, the cool thing about fruit salads, of course, is that you can put anything in it. Blueberries, strawberries, you can even make them seasonal or tropical. Maybe you want to do mangoes. Use what is in your store. I, I suggest doing what is, whatever is popular at that time so that, you know, you have plenty of it and then it's inexpensive. And, of course, fruit salads are always popular because everyone wants a little bit of health. Okay, so you see I've made it all the way. It's not perfect. I don't expect it to be. But when you get here, you just want to kind of eye it up to see if you need to do another V or not. In that case, I just wound it up. Now, I'm going to flip it over boop, right here, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're just going to leave yourself that little basket top there. So about an inch down, you take your knife, and remember, you're doing it on a V, so you want to go in sideways, and you go down. Now, you may notice my knife is not very long, but you can do this with a longer knife. It's fine. Make sure, though, when you do it, that you're, you're making the top and the bottom connect, as well as trying to put your knife all the way down to the base. It's going to go real easily through a melon, especially if it's ripe. But you want to make sure that you do that because that way it's going to be easier to pop out, which we'll do as soon as I finish this one up. Now I'm doing the other side of this, so I want to kind of make sure that it's even. So you can see on the side here, I still have to go down a ways to make sure that I'm even with my basket so that it looks nice on both sides. And then when I arrange it, as you'll see later, I actually, um, I actually take the fruits and put it inside the basket and so usually one of the basket fronts is facing forward so at that point I will just pick which one I think is prettier. So pretty simple, pretty easy. It's a little bit more difficult when you're doing it with a, a watermelon because they're so much bigger. So same thing over here, I'm kind of just eyeing it up. Hmm, could be a little more even but I'm doing it a little quickly this time. Oh wow, this is a ripe melon that's already coming out. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to pop out. Did you see how that just fell there? Look at that. Cool. 
and it doesn't it look neat it really is cool that all the little ribbing that you get because then when you slice your melon up you get some shapes that are just different I like shaping my fruit big fan of a melon baller okay so here we go you can see that I'm getting close to the end so I just want to aim it towards that V and you saw if I go in and I don't go all the way it's fine to wiggle it back and forth again to make it easier so this one didn't work out so I just want to take and make a little bit of a thinner V there we go now we got lucky this time because this one obviously already popped out on its on its own and once you get one side out it's pretty easy now if that had not popped out and it were still stuck in the middle here see I can put it right back in you want to kind of wedge your knife in gently and sort of guide it out just like that and there we go we got easy with this melon because it's pretty easy and then at the other side you can always just stick your hand through and take it out this way now at this point of course we're going to remove all of our seeds I'm a hands-on kind of girl I like to get my hands in there and take all the seeds out why not clean mm -hmm. up afterwards alrighty and at that point you can use your knife or you can use a melon baller to get all the nice juicy fruit out of there and like I said now it's going to sit on the on the thing like a like a um, basket that's why we did that on the bottom we, we made the bottom flat so that when it stood up it wasn't going to go anywhere now you can put that into a tin or into a tupperware or whatever you'd like and then the one thing you do want to make sure that you do is you want to kind of make the basket top a little bit thinner so you want to take your knife and just kind of go across the end here so that it's nice and thin but at the same time, it's not too, too thin, just like that. And then you can use all that juicy, yummy fruit as well. Let's take that out. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look how cool that looks. You can just chop that right up. It's going to be really cool shapes. And then you can see the top of the basket nice and thin there. And then we'll scoop all the inside out, fill it with strawberries, blueberries, mangoes, whatever we want to do. So there's your easy way to make an awesome fruit salad for your next party or barbecue. Thank you so much. Have a great day.